I have two, two things that are, are serious on my mind. One is, I think the CHIPS plan is, is a wonderful thing. I think that needs to be done. But I'm also concerned about these adult, married or single, who is working at, well, there's, I, I have a young man who is currently living at my house, a former student of mine, and I'm letting him live there because he needs, needs the help. He works hard washing dishes in a local restaurant. And I am concerned that if he should get hurt or, or get ill, what could happen? He does not make enough money to buy health insurance. He is employed, but he just simply doesn't make enough. Insurance is too high. He can't afford it. Is there anything for those people? My other thing that I am concerned about, of course, is immigration, and, and I, I have a solution, but nobody's going to like it. I, I, I listen to my, it. My theory of people coming across our border illegally is that they are invading our territory. I think if we shot about 10 of them, that would be the end of The second idea will be passed through Congress sometime soon, but it reflects a lot of the frustrations of the American people. Well, I know. Here's the first thing I'll go to the insurance, uh, the insurance issue. It, it's breaking the law. But, but let me say this too. I think as a nation and a the federal government has a primary responsibility to enforce their immigration laws. Uh, we've been complicit in this. If we put up a, a red light this day, it said you're not supposed to cross the Rio Grande River and come into the United States. Then we put up a green light this day, three times bigger than the red light, and said, but if you do get across the river, you make it to our farms, you make it to our restaurants, you make it to our construction companies, then, then we'll put your work and we will let you get more money than you could have gotten living in Mexico. And, and so I will have to say, I'm trying to not demonize the people. They, they're doing what I do if my 10 and 11 year old sons went to bed hungry tonight, crying because I couldn't feed them. There's no river wide enough or deep enough to keep me from cross the river, get a job, but put food on their table. But, but even having said that, we have an obligation as a country to protect our borders and establish immigration policy and to enforce it. Now, we've been complicit also by not enforcing our laws against hiring illegal immigrants. If you want to solve the problem pretty quickly, put up criminal sanctions against employers who hire illegal immigrants. And that's what Employers, we've got to be sure we have a data system to be able to check someone's citizenship. Uh, otherwise, we're holding employers responsible for something that's not their fault. We, if we do credit card charges uh, anywhere around the world instantaneously and then check your credit, certainly we have the technology to be able to check and see whether people are going to, uh, or whether people applying for jobs are legal or illegal. And, and the Homeland Security Agency just announced, you might have read about it, when I heard about it in the last few days. They announced a new program. If they start seeing Social Security mismatch numbers at businesses. They're going to send letters to those businesses, give them a few weeks to verify whether these employees are, are here legally, or if they're not, they have to fire them. And uh, that may be the first step toward getting some control of this problem, other than what we've already done to strengthen the border uh, patrol situation. Um, and these, most of these people come here to work, so if they can't get a job, they're not going to, most of them aren't going to stay here unemployed. They'll go back to their home country and make perhaps less money. But uh, we, we've been complicit in this field. And it's time we started enforcing the laws. And uh, I hope that's what we see us doing in the, in the months ahead. Yes.